Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a mini fragrance haul of a couple of fragrances that have been on my wish list for a little while. So I'm excited to get into these. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna unbox a couple and then I'm gonna talk about this first one that I'm a little disappointed about. Normally when I'm trying new fragrances, sometimes I just do a straight up blind buy on an actual like full product, a uh, full size bottle. And then sometimes I like to try out bottles um, in tester form. So the testers are usually fragrances that are for demonstration purposes when you're at the counter. And um, you can get fragrance testers for a little bit of a better value when you're purchasing um, online um, from different distributors. Now, for this particular fragrance, I always, whenever I'm buying testers, I always make sure that the tester is going to come with the cap because I do display my fragrances here and then in my studio. So this fragrance was pictured and noted that it was a tester, but it showed that it was going to have the top on it. And I was so disappointed when they sent this to me because I purchased it, got a great deal, but this Dylan uh, Turquoise by Versace did not come with that gorgeous gold top that it normally does. And I'll put a insert a picture here. So I have written to Joma Shop because I have shopped with them before and typically if something is shown in picture, they will send you the actual fragrance that is shown in the image. And this one showed the tester was coming with the cap and I didn't get that. So I was a little disappointed by that because there's no way I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna display this. Um, so hopefully I'm waiting to hear back from the customer service representatives and we'll see how that goes. If not, it's going back. There's no way I'm keeping this. So let's go ahead and take a whiff. Now, um, I love Versace. I've always loved Versace fragrances. I think they always put out high quality products and these fragrances are usually classic. They're, they have a longevity to it um, with regard to the style of perfume or fragrance that it is. And so I knew that if I was going to buy a Versace fragrance blind buy, I'm gonna typically enjoy it. Um, this one is very light, it's citrusy, it's aquatic. It's just one of those fresh summer fragrances that I saw online for a really good buy. It was a steal and it was a fraction of what it would typically cost in your normal department store or real retailer. This is very fresh, it's light, it's tropical. It is perfect for the hot summer months. This is a blind buy for me and Dylan Turquoise, it's beautiful. I mean, it totally reminds me, this is my favorite color here. I've got my Tiffany Tiffany blue and my floor to Libre over here. Um, now, it, it just reminds you of the ocean. It just does. And it's not one of those typical beachy fragrances where it's a lot of coconut and sweet and, and that type of fragrance, but this is just one that is very light, it's fresh and it's airy. Has that citrus, similar along, the, to like light blue or light blue intense. But this is, this is, this is really nice. Mm. Um, maybe also um, if you're familiar with um, Max Fragrance, um, Turquatic, same vibe, same line of fragrance, same type, but it's very nice. It's very nice. I do enjoy this and I think it's perfect for summer. All right. That one in my haul is Dylan Turquoise by Versace. Hopefully I'm gonna get my cap on this one. If not, I'll try a different retailer um, to get my hands on this one, because it's really pretty. All right, the next one um, has been a love, love for money, and it is so budget friendly. I don't know if you saw uh, my other haul, 
I spent quite a bit on those fragrances um, and got some uh, new fragrances for my husband. So I wanted to find some that were more cost effective. Okay, this one is BCBG Max Azira. Azira. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is such a, a beautiful fragrance. It's pretty pink. It's light. It's feminine. Now, one reason I wasn't going to, because I'm a visual person, the one reason I didn't want to get this is because it kind of has a gaudy bottle top. I don't know if you can see that here on camera, but I'm not really a fan of this plasticky kind of, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to be, a flower, I guess. So um, I'm not sure where I'm gonna display this. I thought the color was pretty in pink. I thought the bottle would be a little bit more sophisticated, a little bit more classy, but I don't know, it's a little, it's a little much for me. Online it looks so much prettier, but when you get it, it's just, it's kind of a cheap plastic and it's kind of clunky. So I don't know, let's hope the juice is a little bit better than the presentation. This is a fruity, sweet, cherry, powdery fragrance. It is a white floral that dries down with a nutty, musky rose scent. This one is BC BG Max Azria, Az Azria, I don't know. Okay, very light on the atomizer, very light and misty. That's nice. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is delicate. This is feminine. Similar to Rogue Love in that light, delicate, airy type fragrance. Not something that is cloying, something that is very feminine and it's sweet, it's fruity, it's very pleasant. Oh, this is nice. Now, it's not going to be different and unique. It's more, you know, mass appealing. It's, you know, one of those fragrances that is more budget friendly, um, but it's perfect for summer. It's perfect for daytime. It's perfect for brunch or lunch with the girls. I also see this being used on a romantic daytime date with your significant other. Oh, this is pretty. Let's take a look. Okay, let me see what the notes are. Okay, in the top notes, there's strawberry and cherry. In the middle notes, there's rose, violet, jasmine, lily of the valley. I think lily of the valley is what makes it very light and fresh and airy. And then in the base notes, you have musk, sandalwood and orris root oh that is so beautiful i wish the top was not as clunky i don't know i mean from a distance i guess that's kind of pretty um the juice is just very light but you can see it kind of just spins on its own so i don't know i mean i only paid like 16 dollars for this so i think it's pretty for for the cost, it's nice. On the go, running errands, but you can make it really pretty and feminine. Oh, okay, I'm really happy with this one. I am, it's, it's a pleasant surprise for me. Um, this one here is BCBG Max Azria. All right, and then the last one, which, oh, I've been dying to get my hands on Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir Rose for her. Okay, complete blind eye. Never tried this before, never smelled this before. I do have some Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, but I have heard so much. Look how gorgeous that juice is. I have heard so much about this fragrance. I knew that if I was gonna be on a spending halt, I had to get this before that time was up. This one is considered musky. It has vanilla and a fruity aspect to it. It's sweet, it's powdery. Of course, it's gonna have that rose, 
but it has tuberose and a white floral, um, a love for many, and this is a signature scent. Like you can wear this pretty much year round, day or night. Um, let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay, medium mist on the atomizer, but that's still that heavy weight, high quality Narcisa Rodriguez bottle. Okay, it's not what I was expecting. I think I might layer the two. I think these two would be beautiful together because I like the fruitiness of this one, um, but this one is definitely musky. Um, definitely musky. It's considered an amber floral. Hmm. Gosh, I was hoping for more. I don't know, this one is just lying flat for me. Maybe it's the time of year. Maybe it's just too hot right now for me to enjoy this one. It's powdery, it's musky for sure, but I was hoping that the rose would be a little bit more prominent. Let me see, it's just the initial spray. So I'm gonna give it some time. I'm gonna have the dry down and see if I experience a little bit more of the rose and the vanilla. This in the top notes has plum, pink pepper, and bergamot. In the middle notes, it has musk, rose, and tuberose. And then in the base notes, it has vanilla. Okay, it's not, not what I was expecting. Oh, I'm a little disappointed and frustrated because so many people have been talking this fragrance up. It smells prettier on the scent strip, the blotter, than it does on me. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try this out. Let me give it. Let me give it somewhere and I'm gonna have to come back and tell you whether it stays or whether it goes. All right, so that is Mas Noir Rose for Narcisa Rodriguez for her. All right, everyone, so that is it for my mini haul. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. It would be my honor for you to be a part of my community. Don't forget to hit that like button and that notification bell for future content that I won't be uploading. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace and love, everyone. Bye.